Um, all right, College Stadium. Bill, I am. A group of my buddies and I uh, want to take a trip somewhere random and catch a good college football game. Not necessarily just the game with the team, but also a great stadium. We're all in our mid-20s and live in Florida. Been to plenty of Gators and Seminoles games. I was going to say, Jesus Christ, well, you don't have to travel. You got it right there. Uh, which college, college stadium would you suggest we make our trip to? Somewhere that serves beer during the game would be a plus, but not a requirement. Um, I don't know about, I don't know that the NCAA, any of the, the college stadiums serve beer. Um, I never noticed that they didn't at the Rose Bowl because I was so fucking shit-faced that I didn't need any more alcohol. So I never, I'm usually trying to buy something to absorb all the booze that I've ingested. <laughs> um, but um, I don't think that you can. That's what my friends have been telling me. We were just in College Station, and, and um, they didn't sell it there. They didn't sell it at the LSU game. So anyways, in other words, what's the best college stadium atmosphere that you've been to that you would recommend visiting? Uh, love the podcast, blah, blah, blah. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that you phrased it that way because I'm only going by what I've done. Um, I got to tell you, LSU, Alabama in Baton Rouge was, uh, even if you, you're not a fan of the sport, you realize that you're at something legendary and special. Just SEC football in general, like the level that's being played at, they're in a, another golden age of that conference. And, I, and I'm blown away by how well-behaved and polite the fans are. Because, you know, the stereotype of Southerners, you know, walking around, oh, what are you doing over here, boy? You know, we don't walk your cat around here. You know, it's nothing like that. It's nothing. Most of that shit is just from watching Mississippi Burning and Hollywood's version. I'm not saying that those guys don't exist. All right? It's kind of like uh, that Ray Donovan character. Like, that character is supposed to represent, like, like, everybody on the East Coast, basically the Northeast, that that's how people are, you know? You come you come near my family again, and I'll fucking kill you. You know, that bullshit all the time, and, like, like everybody down South is fucking playing a washboard. It's not like that all at all. I thought that they were, uh, you know, they throw down the level with them. Even College Station, they were amazing. Um, this is what I would do. I would pick, if you're a fan of any other team, going to a home game against one of their big rivals is awesome. It's, it's, it's fun to go to a game where you actually give a shit about the team. Um, so you kind of have a dog in the fight. Or if you're going to go, uh, uh, go see someone really special, you know, like some once in a generation kind of player like Johnny football comes around. Like, you know, that, that guy's going to be a legend, regardless of what he does in the football, uh, NFL whether he makes it or not, that's to be able to say, like I saw that guy in his sophomore year play against Alabama and uh, in a 49-42 game, that's pretty cool. So if I was you, just to looking at saving money and that type of shit, you really don't need to go anywhere. You're down there in SEC country anyways. I would go see Alabama. I'd go to the Alabama-Auburn game, even though Auburn's not, not as good as they were uh, with Cam Newton. I'd go to one of those ones. For some reason, the Florida-Georgia game in Jacksonville does not interest me because that it's an away game for everybody because they were worried about the behavior of people. I want to see their behavior. I like when there's one team going into a hostile, uh, hostile environment. So, you know, like I saw Texas-Oklahoma at the Cotton Bowl, and that was awesome, and it was a great legendary stadium to go to. But there was definitely something – Missing. There was no, you know, you're in our house now. Vibe was not there. Um, so, I don't know. Jesus, am I fucking meandering this week or what? So, I, if I was you, I would either go to Tuscaloosa, I'd go to Baton Rouge. Um, Tennessee, for some reason, looks fucking insane to me. Tennessee, I think, would be insane just because that's in just... Knoxville is just the middle of fucking nowhere, and there's nothing else to do but to go absolutely ape shit at a Tennessee Volunteers game and just watch them throwing down. I'm telling you, half the fucking show is being outside the stadium and watching how hardcore these people party um, or and cook and all that. I mean, they don't get drunk and belligerent. Like, uh, at least I haven't seen that yet. Now, there's probably a lot of people rolling their fucking eyes, but uh, 
you know, it seems like the violent fans are on the coast. I don't know. Like if you got to get stomped or fucking stabbed or shot, <laughs> especially out here in California. Um, I don't know. And if you mosey on up to somebody's smoker, all you do is throw them a couple of compliments. Next thing you know, you got something smoked sitting on a plate. They'll fucking hook you up. They're, they're great. They're great people. South get the South gets such a bad fucking reputation. And I know there's the racism and there's all that fucking shit. But unfortunately, that racism is everywhere, at least as far as my travels. So uh, at the end of the day, those fuckers cook better than they do in, up north at a football game anyways. So there you go. There's my long-winded fucking answer.